So, a lot of happy faces on Fox News in the two weeks since President Trump ordered those cruise missile strikes on a Syrian airbase and then followed up with the mother of all bombs in Afghanistan. As not just Fox News, John. In terms mm. of domestic US politics, it's been a good move generally with bipartisan support in Congress. Although, guys like John McCain always want more. Was this the right strike, in your opinion, at the right time? Yeah, but I wouldn't emphasize too much one-off here. And remember this lady. The action taken last night needs to be followed by a broader strategy. The president has yet to announce any longer-term strategy for Syria, leaving open the possibility it was a one-off attack. Then, last week, the US dropped its most powerful non-nuclear bomb on ISIS tunnels in Afghanistan. And then attention turned to North Korea following a failed missile test. And Vice President Mike Pence told reporters in South Korea the US is considering all options. North Korea would do well not to test his resolve. So what's he going to do? <laughs> You're not going to catch him out that easily. Have you ruled out a military strike? I don't want to telegraph what I'm doing or what I'm thinking. Uh, I'm not like other administrations where they say we're going to do this in four weeks and that doesn't work that way. We'll see what happens. I hope things work out well. I hope there's going to be peace. But, you know, they've been talking with this gentleman for a long time. You read Clinton's book. He said, oh, we made such a great peace deal and it was a joke. You look at uh, different things over the years with President Obama. Everybody has been outplayed. Uh, they've all been outplayed by this gentleman. Now, just to be clear, North Korean President Kim Jong-un wasn't involved with the Clinton-era deal limiting the country's nuclear program. That process involved his grandfather, Kim Il-sung, before his death in 1994 and was agreed to by his father, Kim Jong-il. Details, details, John. What matters is that the American people love it when their president bombs things. Or at least 2.7% of Americans love it. But we don't yet know how they feel about seeing this on their TV screens. This is a Fox News Alert. I'm Brett Baer in Washington. North Korea is warning of a nuclear attack against the United States. Anything but Bill O'Reilly, John. And President Trump was talking tough in an interview on Fox Business this week after ordering the USS Carl Vinson and its carrier group to head to the Sea of Japan. We are sending an armada. Very powerful. We have submarines. Very powerful. Far more powerful than the aircraft carrier, that I can tell you. And we have the best military people on Earth. Although those best people have a lousy sense of direction, turns out the Carl Vinson was still heading south to Australia, not north to the Korean Peninsula. The White House put that down to a miscommunication. The statement that was put out was that the Carl Vinson group was headed to the Korean Peninsula. It is headed to the Korean Peninsula. Um, it'll arrive there. It's headed there now. It wasn't headed there Sure, last no, no, week. but that's not, but that's not what we ever said. We said that it was heading there, and it was heading there, it is heading there. Um, so that, that remains... Have that allies have? I, but that's, that's, I, if there's an impression, uh, then I, that's not, then there should have been clarification from people who were seeking it. <laughs>